Welcome back. In this step, I'm going to show you how to create your first ever material, which is going to be a kind of black rubber material. And we're actually creating materials for a robot character that we're going to import in the next chapter. So we're going to get a few things set up and then we're going to create our material. So the first thing I'll do is just close this asset platform material that I had open in the last step like that. And then what I'm going to do is open my content drawer, go back to my content folder and we're going to create a new folder. And that's where we're going to put all of our materials. So I'll right click in some empty space. We're going to go to new folder. I'm going to call this materials, which is a good name. And then I'm just going to open that up. And that's everything we need to do in terms of organization for now. Then what we're going to do is create our first material. So to do that, we're going to right click in the empty materials folder. And we get a list of things we can create as always. And you see one of the main ones here is material. So we'll click on that and it creates a material. Now, the first thing I want to do is give it a name, an appropriate name. So I'm going to call it M underscore black rubber. The M underscore denotes that it's a material. I like that naming convention. It's one that Epic Games use. So I've just adopted that. It's good. So we'll press enter to save that. And then you can see we've got a little asterisk to say it's not been saved, which is fine because we've not actually done anything to it yet. Uh, we'll double click on it to open it up. And this is our material editor. So what it already gives us is this is known as the result node of the material. And we plug things into this and it gives us a result which is previewed over here. And what we can do, some of the properties are actually already on here. And I'm going to show you on this material how we just use those to create our first material. So the base color is currently, if we click on that, it gives us a color picker and it's set to like a mid gray. So I'm just going to change this slider down here. You see that the new color is going to be set to black. The old color is that gray. And we click on OK. And then we're not going to change the metallic because we don't want it to be metallic. We are going to change the roughness slightly to make it rougher. And the way this works is it's from zero to one, which you can think of as a percentage. So zero would be 0% rough. One would be 100% rough. At the moment, 0.5 is 50% rough. So I'm going to set this to about 75% rough. So 0.75. And that will just mean it absorbs more light. And there is that material being previewed for us. And that will actually do it for this first material. There's not much else that we need to do here. So we're going to save that. And I'm just going to close that window for now. So to get an idea of how this looks, I'm also going to want to apply it to something within my level. And for this chapter, I want you to import a model of the robot character that we will be importing properly in the next chapter. So here's the folder that you should already have downloaded. Here's chapter four. And we've got this SM underscore blip underscore material test. This is the model that I want you to import. And then there's also a texture file which we'll use in a few steps time. So let's import that model. So we're just going to open our content drawer. We're going to go back to our meshes folder empty space, import to the folder, and out of chapter three into chapter four, and we're just going to import. Okay, so what we want to do is make sure that combined meshes is selected because I've left this as separate meshes. It's going to be a mess if we don't do that. So make sure that that is enabled and then you shouldn't have to change anything else. Um, I don't want it to create any materials, so that's still set to off, and I don't want it to import textures. We'll do that when we're ready. So we'll just click on import. So there you can see it's imported it. For some reason, it's opened my content browser, and I just wanted it in my content drawer. So here he is, and we're going to double click on that to open him up. So this is our robot. And what I also want to do is I'm just going to drag this down and dock it alongside so that I can quickly swap between my different views. And then what we need to do is find the black rubber, which is going to be these like ball areas uh, in like his shoulders and his hips. So if we go to highlight and when we find the one that highlights those, there you can see it's element two in this case. And we're going to assign that rubber material. And you can see that I have named it in my modeling application as well to help that be a bit easier. So we're just going to go to this drop down here, find the rubber and apply that. And then I'm just going to turn highlight off. And then if we zoom in on that area, you can see that that material is now applied. Wonderful. So we've now done it. You have created your very first material. You have changed some properties of it, and then you've applied that to 
a model. So in the next step, we're going to slowly start getting more complex with the materials all the way through to the face. And we'll also create a slightly more complicated material for the walls and the level. But going into the next one, we're going to be creating like a glossy white plastic for the main body parts of our robot, who is named Blip. So I'll see you in the next step for that. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.